Welcome to ELF Hosted. Let's talk about how to use the new AIO metadata add-on to control and customize the results that you see on the Discover or the Home tab. For starters, we'll want to get rid of what's currently providing these details. If you go to your add-ons in Streamio, you'll see we have Cinemeta, which can't be uninstalled. But if we leave Cinemeta running, any extra catalogs we add will just create duplication. So we want to stop Cinemeta from being used as a catalog source. Go to cinebuy.dinsden.top. This is an open source tool. You can check the source code. Log in with your Streamio credentials. Once you're logged in, you have the option to download a backup, which is sensible, and then to remove Cinemeta from search catalogs and metadata. Click on Sync to Streamio. Done. Now, if you reload your board in Streamio, you'll see it's empty. So as you discover tab. This is good because we can now repopulate this from AIO metadata. So we'll open AIO metadata.elfhosted.com. This is very customizable. I'm going to pick a default preset. I'm going to say I want no adult content and I want movies and TV shows only. Now that I've applied the preset, I can go through the other settings and tweak them as I need to. Integrations are important and two of them are essential at the moment. You will need your own TMDB API key and your own the TVDB API key. In each case, these links will take you to your account page where you can request an API key. It's free for personal use, but you will have to fill out a form explaining how you intend to use it. It's automatic. You can have your key in a minute or two. Paste your keys in here. Once you've pasted your keys, including fan art and RPDB as well, you can test them. I know my keys are good, so I can continue. Metadata providers, you can leave as default. Same for art providers. You could play with these later. Filters are what's important to me. Under content rating, I would like not to show anything greater than PG-13, and I would like to only show digitally released movies. Under search, uh, we do want to enable search catalogs because we just took away all of the Cinemeta catalogs. Catalogs, you will find the default useful catalogs for trending and popular movies and TV shows. In my case, I did not choose the anime preset, so these, my anime list catalogs are not showing, but you could selectively enable them if you wanted to. Finally, under configuration, you're ready to save. You'll be prompted to enter a password. The password is used to secure your own config on the AIO metadata database. This is outside of Streamio. You can make the password whatever you want and save. Right, now you've got an, a UUID. This is unique to your configuration and you've got your password. You need to remember your UUID in case you ever want to come back and change things. Click on install, install in Streamio. And that's the basics. Under your board now, you'll see what looks familiar, popular movies and series. You'll notice these are different from the ones that appeared when I started because they were provided by Cinemeta. These are now provided by, uh, I'm not even sure, uh, Meta providers, they are provided by TMDB. And if I was to search for something which would be greater than PG-13, for example, Game of Thrones, See, I didn't actually get results for the TV series, just these other things. So let's now say we wanted to change our catalogs and we wanted to bring in some anime. If you went to your AIO metadata config and you went to catalogs and turned on one of the anime lists and saved, nothing would happen. You would not get new catalogs showing up because the way that Streamio installs catalogs it requires a reinstallation of the add-on providing those catalogs. You could go to add-ons, remove it, and re-edit. But the quicker way is to go back here into Cinebuy, log in again, even though you're already logged in. This triggers a resync of your Streamio config into Cinebuy, which is only present in this tab that you're in. It does not persisted. And go down to the add-ons and just click on this little reinstall button here. That's all you have to do. Now we've updated your Streamio account with the latest AIO metadata config and catalogs. If I was now to go to home, 
I would see my anime list. To reiterate that bit, if you change the catalog settings in AIO metadata, if you add catalogs, you do need to reinstall it, either using Cinebuy or just a direct uninstall and reinstall. I find this to be easier. I've now removed Cine um, anime again. I click that button there and I'm done. Now, if I wanted to change something other than a catalog, like say my art provider, or in this case, a filter, let's say I wanted to turn off the filters. I could say, show me everything. Go back to configuration and save. That's it, no reinstall required. And now if I reload my Game of Thrones search, the series does appear. Note that this filtering is based on TMDB's and TVDB's understanding of the rating of each show. Certain shows won't be rated, so this is not a foolproof way of preventing any adult content from appearing, but it's a whole lot more effective than the default. And that's it. You now have a way to customize not only your Discover tab, but also your Home tab. You'll see from the Discover tab, we also have those extra lists that we asked for. Uh, TVDB by year, for example. And we could pick the most popular shows from 2022. So you now have a very powerful and very customizable way of changing everything that's shown to you in Streamio when you either browse or search. This has nothing to do with the results for a particular type of content that's provided by other add-ons like AIO Streams, Torrent.io, etc. But this controls what results are presented to you in the first place. If you would like to explore more cool things you can do with Streamio and more add-ons, go to streamioaddonsguide.elfhosted.com. Here is a list of all of the current Elf hosted add-ons. Enter your email address, smash that button, and we'll send you a guide in the next few minutes. Cheers.